further challenge in Supreme Court Advocate on Records Association versus Union of India or Central Government, 1993 Supreme Court, wherein reviewing its S. P. Gupta's judgment, the Supreme Court came up with a new concept for the appointment of judges called collegi. and held that though the appointment shall happen with the sign and seal of the President of India, but the role of the Chief Justice shall not be purely on le limited to consultation, but has an important role of concurrence as well. And before giving the advice to the President of India, the Chief Justice shall consult with two senior most judges of the Supreme Court and all three comprising would be called a collegium. In the year thereafter, <coughs> 1999, a reference was made by the President of India to the Supreme Court itself that the collegium has recommended certain name to the President of India but it does not have the approval of two senior most judges. So whether the consultation with the two senior most judges is mandatory for Chief Justice or can he just consult and send some name? And that case is called Presidential Reference Case of 1999 Supreme Court. Third judges transfer case. Because SP Gupta, AOR case and Presidential, these are called Judges transfer case one, judges transfer case number two, judges transfer case number three. In this presidential reference, the Supreme Court enlarged the scope of the collegium from three to five and said that the concurrence of four senior most judges with the Chief Justice before recommending a name is mandatory and the Chief Justice individually cannot decide on a name. So this 1999 Supreme Court enlarged the scope of collegium. In the meantime, the central government brought NJAC, National Judicial Appointment Commission, by amending the Constitution of India under 99th Amendment Act of the Constitution. This 99th Amendment was again challenged before the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court struck down the 99th Amendment of the Constitution of India, holding that NJAC is violated and ultra virus to the Constitution. And this amendment cannot stand. And therefore, NJAC went out. And that was 2016 Supreme Court called Fourth Judges Transfer Case. So now these judgments, in the light of amendments, were there. And the latest amendment to the Constitution of India is 101st Amendment of the Constitution of India, which brought amendment to the seventh schedule of the Constitution of India, among other articles. And why this amendment was brought? To introduce GST in it. So the introduction of GST, goods and services tax, is done by 101st amendment to the Constitution of India, which is the latest and the last. So these were the interesting areas where the constitution was amended time to time and I gave you a little insight of historical background of these amendments. I gave you landmark judgments in respect of these. Apart from these, there are other landmark judgments like 26th amendment, amending the constitution, stopping privy purse, which was also a subject matter of Madara of India versus Union of India, 1970 Supreme Court. So privy purse was abolished. There were other multiple, but because 
it's such a huge area of 101 amendments and there are so many other judgments stories behind it that we can spend hours on to it but these are the most important landmark which i chose for you for today and i hope that you will taking a clue from here start reading these judgments to get a better insight on these provisions and before i end i want you all to repeat after me and i want you to repeat each day of your life the preamble to the constitution of india are you ready we the people of india we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india have solemnly resolved to constitute india into sovereign into sovereign socialist socialist secular secular democratic democratic republic republic and to secure to all its citizens and to secure to all its Justice, Justice, social, economic, political, social, economic, political liberty, liberty of, of thought, expression, belief, faith, and worship, and equality, thought of status and of opportunity, and to promote among all the fraternity. ensuring dignity to individual and unity and integrity of the nation in this constituent assembly on 26 november 1949 and to adapt enact and give to ourselves this constitution of india this constitution Thank you very much Jai Hind